So it's Easter Sunday and we are just about to go to church. Then we have my grandparents coming over for an Easter Sunday lunch, which is gonna be a barbecue. And then we'll probably go for a walk. And then it's kind of a relax after that, a nice relaxing day of rest. So it's gonna be fun. I mean, not to imply that the other things aren't in their own way relaxing, but you know, not doing anything. So that's gonna be fun. Um, and I probably won't really, you know, I won't film the service in church. So I'll, you know, maybe film as we're approaching it and that's it. Did you <laughs> like the church, Hannah? Yeah, it was nice. I remember the music that they played. They had like an ensemble. Yeah, yeah, they like to switch it up, which is important. The reason for the season, Jesus. So here we're setting up for the barbecue. Yeah, I think so. We were on um kebab duty. Um, mm -hmm. We had the difficult task of perfectly portioning out all of the different uh, things to go on the kebab. But I, th I think, yeah, we, we made a good team, didn't we? Oh, do I see anti-pasties? Oh, what did you think about my dad as a grill master? Do you think that he burnt a lot of the stuff? No, he did a really good job. I really liked the sausages. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he pulled out his A-game because he knew there were so many people there. It's calmed down. Yeah. Still in a little flame. Are all the buns prepared and rolls? No. Have more buns already? Yeah. Oh, Mike's there. Oh, I need there. onions. Mike's there. Um, guys, I don't know if you guys put them there. There's the onions. Oh, put yes. those there. Beans, Liz. Green salad. Oh, yes. Now you're talking, Mike. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Can I get a bun? Yeah. Good. There it is, all together. There's the uh, Waldor <laughs> Waldorf salad. I don't know if you do you know what Waldorf salad is. <laughs> I hope everybody notices how um, symmetrical or like the the order of the kebabs is. It's very ordered. Blue cheese, lettuce, walnuts, and avocado. I think. Oh, and pears. You excited for your sausage, mum? Sure am. You taking mm. a picture of my sausage? Sure am. I'm taking a picture. That's exactly what I'm taking. Enough well, um, uh, I just flew onto the thingy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Another oh my God. bird to Yeah, film. literally. I mentioned last time that my channel was basically <laughs> a bird watching channel. And it is. Brilliant. It's probably um, nectar office. So you just get nectar points Oh, okay. Do you know how? Do you know the value of my next course? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. You got it. Oh, oh my god! I don't, don't remember it. Diane, you know, yeah. like coming out of the wedding. Nice. The, the um. Thing. Look, I'm a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cute. Cute. Come here. <laughs> I'm a reindeer. She's very camp. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. both. Yeah. Yeah. It's very gay. <laughs> and then after that, we had dessert. It was tasty. Yeah, it was actually really good. <laughs> My favorite part. A bit of everything, in theory, could extend to a bit of clotted cream. <laughs> a bit of olive. A bit of clotted cream, a bit of triple chocolate, a bit of mint choc chip, a bit of cookie um, ice cream. Yeah, cookie dough. A bit of double cream, a bit of strawberry, a bit of blueberry, a bit of meringue. And a bit of brownie. Does that sound like fun? I don't like <laughs> cookie ice cream. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a classic uh, testing out the, yeah, uh, the testing zoom. Out the zoom moment. <laughs> Whoa. So green. So, we're going... Hey, guys. We're going to the Bluebell Woods to see bluebells. So, hey. Hannah's excited about bluebells. Let's go. And we were catching up with... Uh, Sorry, we were ahead of those people, but that's because my granddad's hip is bad. So they were slow and he decided to go back, which that makes us sound mean, but we didn't know his hip was hurting. So 
now we've got to catch them up again. Outfit check. <laughs> got some leggings, a nice shirt. A nice wonky hat. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice camera focus. Just the problem with this this walk is that everything was so blurry. It was crazy. Did you like these yellow flowers? I did. Yeah, they were really yeah. pretty. I think I feel like they're called like cassadines or something like that. But if I'm wrong, then it doesn't really matter because you know all that matters is that they're pretty, not what mm -hmm. they're called. <laughs> a rose by any other name. Blue bells. They're so blue. Did you enjoy all the bluebells? I did, yeah. I I was expecting more, but... Yeah, you know. I don't think it was quite the season for peak bluebells, unfortunately. It's, it's getting there. Yeah, I mean, it could... I think... It could be better. Yeah. Like, it would have to extend for longer. Yeah. Oh, another bird. Robin, this time. Got really close. Cute. Oh dear. Bye. Oh. Now there are some white flowers. Crazy. Holidays. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy talking to my uh, <laughs> grandma about the differences between America and the UK? <laughs> sure did. I assume that this is a tree orchard because they seem to be every now and then chopping down trees that's why this is on a stump but uh, obviously they're leaving enough around for it to still function as a wood which is nice um, which I think is the right thing to do you know like use <sighs> don't don't be afraid to cut down trees I mean, it's like animals, isn't it? You know, don't be afraid to hunt a bit, because if you don't hunt at all, you get animals being overpopulated and all that. But don't don't hunt all the animals. Don't chop down all the trees. You know, I think if they were just like chopping down a tree every now and then in the Amazon, it would be wouldn't be an issue. But I guess the whole point of the Amazon is they're trying to clear the whole thing. So you know, for farmland, so that's that's not so much of a good thing. I mean, again, there, that's an example of that hunting's better, because, you know, if you're clearing land for farming, that's worse than hunting in the wilderness. Just ask Alaska. Okay, I'll ask her. Say hi. Where'd that hat come from? Crazy. I Sorry, I actually, I can't see anybody. Like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just crazy that I wasn't even filming anyone right now. Yeah. That? yeah. Blue bells? Yeah. yeah. Smell them, huh? I wouldn't say it's a strong smell. And there's out of the woods. And the white ones are um, wood anemones. Wood anemones, um, uh, celandines, I think is what the. Yeah. I don't know what I said. Did I say Cassidines? Yeah. <laughs> well done me, correcting myself. <laughs> Assuming I was right there. That's probably all the scenic stuff done, so we're just gonna head home now. Uh, quite an expedient and not as interesting route. Um, and yeah, I mean, quite possibly there's not really much else to uh, do today. Uh, I want to kind of sort some stuff out for the Coventry trip. I maybe want to do something to do with a job application um, and obviously I need to do dinner which is probably not going to be too elaborate. I have podcasts this evening, late in the evening and probably before that we'll watch, um, watch something on the telly, maybe even try and get a film in there because um, there's not too much to do. But yeah. And I, need, yeah, I just need to make sure we're mostly totally done for the Coventry trip. Oh, we probably need to think a little bit about what we're doing for London. Um, yeah. We can do that a little bit on the fly because we can't even entertain the idea of doing everything. So honestly, if we just show up and just do what we can, that'll be significant. Were we enthused by the walk? <laughs> Did we enjoy getting out and about? 
I sure did. Yeah, it was a really nice day. Really pretty scenery, I think. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I enjoyed it too. I mean, I would say uh, where I live has a lot of pretty places like this or, you know, near where I live. Um, So, yeah, it was nice to explore some of them. Yeah. Yeah. And it was nice and relaxing for Sunday. Mm Mm-hmm. Sometimes you get interesting birds on the lake, so if we see those, we will make note of them. Quick shot of the uh, really fancy retirement home, or retirement community, let's call it. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one my parents want to live in when they are old and enfeebled. Posing, posing by the old person's home. <laughs> That's for the gram. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I guess where we are, Hannah. Probably your favorite place in all of, all of near where I live. It's the toot. It's the toot. This was like a, a little in-joke I had of myself of explaining to <laughs> Hannah, like, hey, we need to go to the toot. And basically what it is, is just an old hilled fortification. But the fortification is now gone. So it's literally just the hill. That's it. Oh. It's just the hill that used to have a fortification on top of it. That sign is from when this area was just, oh, if it's going to pay attention, was just a collection of villages. So these are all the villages that would have been around. So three miles that way was Wadden. And it certainly doesn't like a village. And that's the old rectory. And these houses are really nice. I'd love to live there. Hey, what you doing? Well, I'm removing my old girl and you'll see how broken it was. See, well, okay, actually, see, this light is also broken, but to be honest, right now it's summer, so I don't cycle much tonight. But what I'd have to do, because this light's kind of like hanging off loose, is when I was cycling, I have to go like that. Missed, I missed it. Oh. Okay. I can knock that against that. Right. Which, of course, is just not a very efficient thing to do. So, this is going off. I suppose, oh, and there it goes. I suppose I just need to, as you can see, it's basically the exact same design, which makes sense because I got this bike from Halfords. Shout out to Halfords, waiting for the sponsorship. <laughs> of course, if anybody's interested in how we got this bike bell, which I know sounds really <laughs> exciting, then uh, you should watch our previous vlog. Uh, yeah, and I think it's fair to say me over. buying that bike bell was the most exciting part of mm. uh, the previous vlog, mm-hmm. even For though sure. I didn't actually film myself buying it. I just put it on here. So... This, look at that, old, oh, bad, wow, broken, we. best three quid I ever spent. I mentioned in the previous vlog that we don't have, or we didn't have a kitchen, and you can kind of see that here, that the kitchen's mm-hmm. a bit undeveloped. Also, I do want to say this whole thing ended up being pointless because I ended up needing to get a new bike not long after all of this was filmed anyway. Oh, right. Uh, and with that new bike came a new bell already attached. But at least I now have a spare bell. Yeah. Oh, your bell. Is this open? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, vertical filming? <laughs> yeah. No. It's probably going to make people dizzy. Okay. All right, I'll so. turn it this way. And I guess wait. Let me let me imagine I'm actually doing it. Anyways, that ended up being the last thing that I filmed for the day. Um and therefore he's gonna cut to 
Monday after this, I really do need to start filming in the evenings more, especially because the evenings are so cozy. I know. Um, you know, like it's all just action, action, action. We don't actually see us because we do wind down, but we just don't see that. Uh, hey everyone, it's Monday morning, Easter Monday, and I finally, for the first time in the Easter period, been able to have a hot cross bun, which is like these kind of cinnamony, curranty buns, which have like crosses on them. I do need to um, comb my hair, sorry about that. Uh, we were supposed to go to London today, but because it's Easter Monday, it's a bank holiday, or maybe just because of roadworks, we're not really sure, uh, none of the trains to London are running, so... Yeah, maybe they decided to do roadworks while it was a bank holiday, people wouldn't be working. And therefore we thought we're just going to hang around where I live. Uh, we're going to go up to some Roman ruins, then we're going to go down to an abbey. Then we're going to go to a lake by a Chinese restaurant, which is really pretty. And then we're going to go into the centre MK. So that's it, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to try and see as, do as much as I can to work out the exact route. And um, I'm getting like some weird glary stuff. I'll try and wipe that. Um, yeah, the exact route and uh, what restaurants there might be that we can go to for lunch. And there is Hannah. Uh, just explaining the plan. So we are at North Loughton Valley Park and we are, oh, I don't know where we are. Oh, we're there. Oh, that's not as, I don't know as we had all that that we could have done. Not that I wanted to, because we've got enough of a walk. We're going all the way down there, and then all the way down there, and then all the way down there, and then we're going to get the bus home. So, uh, but we've got important sites. Site of the Roman villa. Uh, oh, and then concrete cows. I don't know where Bradwell Abbey is. I think Bradwell Abbey is over there. Okay, so we've got that to do as well. So this map's not very complete. Anyway. So Hannah, are you excited for the villa? Yeah. We're all... I don't know what to expect. Okay, yeah. well expect um, ruins. Okay. Because <laughs> it's it's not it's not a villa. I mean it's Yeah, that sounds confusing. I mean it's just it's an old Roman villa and it's so old. In fact, I'm gonna be honest with you, Hannah. Okay. That's the old Roman villa. Okay. But there's info. Tell you what, look at this though. Look at this lovely, ooh. lovely view. So green. Here we are in the Roman villa. Must have been a bit breezy for him. And there's probably an information plaque somewhere, which we will endeavour to find. But yeah. Admittedly, it does make it easier to film because you can literally film over the whole thing. Okay, so, this is one room. I mean, I, just, I guess this has to be the actual original stone. But they must have fixed it up a bit, I think. Because it's kind of almost just like, even though it's like completely torn down, it almost feels like too perfect. In a way where like, they've just left the right amount. So I'm betting like there were at least parts of this that had been completely gone. Because that, I mean, how is that not modern concrete? I'll mention now, but I don't know why we're included, that it was very annoying having to avoid filming a kid that was running it all around <laughs> the, uh, you know... Those darn kids. Ruins, yeah. So I was, like, just trying to keep the camera low so that I didn't film it. Him. The kid. Film it. <laughs> film it, because then I would have had to uh, blur it out. It is tempting just to step over the walls, but that's not how you do it. I mean, so like that small area there could have been a, a toilet. It's, it's a lot of rooms, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't mind living in this house if I were a Roman. So yeah, you've got a room off there, big main room here. And that's like a back. Yeah, they should. Oh, if they don't have a thing telling you like what the different rooms were. And there's a random. What's the word? Trench, but it's like a big trench. Okay. Yeah. 
Now we search for information. Okay. Oh, okay. If we wanted information, we have information. Um, I'm not going to, you know, film myself reading all of this, but I may, as we're walking away, film myself and say some of it. So, although there we go, there's some visuals. Look at that, wait. There we go, that's, that's what it would have looked like. So basically, there were multiple buildings, and it turns out that is the pond, so it's not a bathhouse. Um, and that is the building we can see, but there are also all of these buildings off to the side, which as far as I can tell, there's no evidence of them now. So yeah, it's just the villa that remains, but there was other buildings too. Okay, important piece of information. That mosaic is reconstructed in Milton Keynes Center. So we need to find that. Queen's Court. Um, and then it does have this thing, but it doesn't properly show the floor plan, which is annoying. Okay, so the information board was kind of useful. Um, the uh, one annoying thing about it is it had like information about the rooms, but it didn't have like a layout um, of the rooms, which was annoying. Um, although we did find out that their bathroom had four rooms. They had two heated rooms and then a, a room that was intentionally cold for some reason. And then the room with the actual bath in it, which seems excessive. Um, would you like four bathrooms? Um, yeah, I would actually. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, sorry, okay, no, actually, that's Maybe, not true. Like, a bathroom made up of four rooms, though. That's the thing. Uh -oh. That's the point. Yeah, I mean, like, what would room the for the point? shower, room for the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, that's a weird thing. It didn't, like, it didn't mention, like, room. a toilet room, which is weird. Um, and the other thing about it, we did find out right at the end, literally the last sentence you can read is that, um, is that, the stone there is not the original stone, it's just a reconstructed stone put there to match the layout. I do actually need to now check my phone to make sure we're following the route that I've um, thought about. Although this is quite an interesting walkway, so if we're on the wrong route, it's certainly a happy little accident. Hmm. Look at that. We're on a bridge in the trees. Yeah. But maybe we're supposed to be walking on that path, so let's not get too excited. Okay, so... We're getting a bit lost, but part of it is because I didn't realize that the route we're supposed to be taking goes like, like that bridge is there. So I thought we were just gonna do a turn, but it turned out we had to walk down the bridge and then get around. Oh look, piece of wildlife, an old glove. But yeah, walking through this, past this stream, I guess. Um, Quite pretty. Definitely wouldn't think we're right next to um, the center. And I believe I said that we would know where we're going once we see a path that goes and then around. And I reckon that is the path that goes and then around. So I'm now more confident we're heading in the right direction. But I pretty much will need to stop quite frequently to look at the map just to make sure that we're not going in the wrong direction at any point. Because that's a very realistic possibility. That's the problem with sorting everything out on the map. You don't need to make sure you actually pay attention to it. Okay, so basically we were walking along and it's not funny, we just saw somebody fall over in front of us. Hey bird. We just saw somebody fall over in front of us um, and well, there's lots that can be said about it. But the weird thing is, yeah, I've never seen somebody fall over before. But like, yeah, they seem to like tread on a, well, they said they trod on a stick. And had to have seen someone fall over. never. <laughs> oh. <sighs> How do we get to that side of the road? We have to. Okay, I'm, so I can't really film the cows because there's kids like all around them, which there probably won't be in a minute because there's only like one family there. But yeah, the cows are over there, concrete cows. Um, just go under that overpass? Yeah, so I think we want to head there. Anyway, person fell over. It was um, kind of a was... interesting strange. thing to have witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we found a path 
to the concrete cows and it means we're going to get to walk under this oh there's another guy filming stuff probably more interesting things oh look at that it's like a weird sewer thing do you want to climb down there oh wait how do we get oh i can't get a good shot at all there we, i mean there it is huh ducks ducks cute there's the cows which one do you want to ride the tiniest one it's got to be that one you want to ride the tiny cow want to ride the big cow the biggest cow i like how i'm just pressuring you to uh <laughs> to ride the cow uh, and then i get my comeuppance in the form of a physical injury Fine, i'm gonna ride the cow wait you film Nice. You look like a real cowboy. So cowboys don't ride cows. Well, they just they cows. do now. Trusty steed. Casually avoid filming a little kid. There we go, cows. <laughs> oh dear, I almost <laughs> reverse into. You want to get off? You want to help? Yeah. Oh, that's a big jump. Big jump. Okay, so I don't think we'll walk along there. I do wonder whether or not there could have been a path that flanked the, um, you know, motorway. But yeah, so the concrete cows are uh, an iconic symbol of Milton Keynes, which I don't know. I mean, I think part of it is because you can see them from the kind of main road, which makes them seem more important. Um, but I suppose when we get home, I'll have to film the concrete cow that my mum put in our garden. It is now autumn, so I'm a bit delayed at this, but for the record, that's the concrete cow. I mean, that's quite pretty. We're not actually going to do any uh, real autumn vlogs because of the fact that uh, Hannah's not going to be here. So here's your little fix of autumn. Uh, and now I need to actually think about the map again. So yeah, back through here. That's a cycling person. And... Echo! Hannah, do you want an echo? Echo! <laughs> okay, so we're about to play Poo Sticks, where... Oh, uh, some other people are playing it, that's funny and they're kids so I can't refilm them but basically you yeah I'm just gonna film the bridge you drop a stick into the water and then you see whose stick goes out the other end fastest I don't know I mean I'll see if they keep playing it because if they do it's gonna be no time for us our sticks look very similar I'm gonna cut mine in half or I don't know make it look different somehow and then I'll film it when we're dropping them Okay, so now we're going to casually steal those people's idea. Although, you'll notice it's very stony, so I would not be surprised if it falls. Okay, ready, Hannah? Let's drop. Three, two, one, go! Okay, and they're both stuck. Okay, I think you've... Oh, wait, wait, okay. Okay. So we've got one regular... Oh, I think that might be someone else's. Okay. Very nervous holding this extensive camera yeah. over this. Uh, they go. They go. Uh, so spoiler alert, uh, the sticks never materialize and then we tried it again with something else and we didn't see that either. So we concluded that the water was a bit too shallow and there were too many stones yeah. to guarantee that things would actually 
pass under the river. Oh, Whoa. yeah, poo sticks didn't really work, but whatever. It was fun anyway, right? That was fun. Really fun. Who needs video games? We're gonna go under the railway. We're gonna go past the weird industrial looking place next to the railway. Cute. It is kind of um, fun. Like, I don't know, railways, in some sense, they shouldn't feel nice because they're often quite bland and industrial looking. But I think they're just fun. Right, we gotta do echo. Alright, in the middle. Echo! 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 Ah, this is my voice now. I'm under a train track. Fun. Here's the Abbey. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is quite the, well, I think it must be the best route. Oh, look at this. It's like a little glass thing, a little path. So, at the Bradwell Abbey, um, which is not, well, it's exciting. Um, you can't go into it or anything. I don't know why, I'm not sure if it's like, still functions as an abbey. Pond. Little duck. More birds. You can't get enough of the birds. Underneath the, oh, I think it's a wren, a wren? My brain is telling me wren. Yeah. And that might well be top of the abbey. Anyway, yeah. So it's not like one of those fancy other places that you can kind of look around and explore. But still plenty there. Um, well, this is something. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's not, uh, it's by no means clear. Nah. Oh, dog. Dog? Dog. Happy dog. That's kind of dog. Yeah, this is quite elaborate. Tell me what. Imagine if the lady tripped over one of... <laughs> These twigs. There. Ah, oh, you look so comfy. You have my tree. You tree hugger. All right. I'm not sure exactly how intuitive this route is, um, but so far, I mean, see, here we go, we've got a challenge here, fork and, oh, okay, so that's a dead end, which is fun. And yeah, they've got these little messages around, which basically are just like people's quotes about their experience with the Abbey, which is a bit, a bit self-indulgent. Now I'll tell you what I can see right now. A bluebells, whoa. Look at those bluebells! That's quite a lot of them. Right around. I don't think I went here as a kid, which is a bit weird. You would think, having been a kid and lived near here and being here now, I would have been here as a kid. I do remember one time uh, we went to... Someone mentioned like doing a Tudor reenactment thing. And I remember one time we went to a, um, a Tudor no, Victorian house actually, so never mind that. Yeah, I went to a Victorian house and um, got taught about how they used to do things in Victorian times, and that was a school trip we did. Um, and the reveal at the end, um, so like, there's like this kind of mystery about the, the lady of the manor, and I'm like, oh, the lady of the manor, blah, blah. And then at the end, um, the, the head teacher comes out in, um, of the school, comes out in 
like a proper fancy Victorian clothes and it's like, oh look, it's the lady of the manor, your head teacher. And we went, it's our head teacher. Wow. <laughs> and that was it. That was the story. Wow. It's fun. I mean, vaguely. Um, except for the fact I said dick in front of the entire class because I didn't know it was a rude word. True okay. story. I thought it just meant, I thought it was like a, as acceptable as like willy or tallywackle. So whatever. Pretty. So pretty. Extra pretty. And we're gonna walk up past the abbey. I, I mean, is that the abbey? I would assume that's the chapel. Yeah. And that's the abbey. Which we'll probably get a better shot of from the front. I just went a bit west country there. Better a shot of. This is a little path, which I guess we'll walk along. Well, no, let's not, because literally, what's the point in it? But, yeah, we'll look at the abbey. There we go. That's the ancient seal of the priory. And it's what it would look like back in the olden days. The story and the stone. So this is what the chapel looks like inside. Lots of wood paintings. But they seem to not be inclined to open it right now. There we go. Here it is. The Abbey. There's some more information there, but I don't think I want to read it. Okay, so we're probably going to get copyrighted because they're playing this music really loud right next to the Medieval Interpretation Center. At what, like 11 a.m.? At 11 a.m. <laughs> That's like, I've seen people do a thing where they like play copyrighted music if somebody's filming them so that the person will stop filming. I can't remember, I've seen it in like a YouTube video where like somebody's getting um, filmed and then they stop playing copyright music. More info, but I don't really care. Right. There are a lot of sculptures. And some of them are supposed to, so that's something like called the seeing eye or something. And then, what was interesting is that, I don't know if I mentioned this already, the, uh, Priory, sorry, not Priory, Abbey was built from stones taken from the Roman villa. So, you know, of the two interesting pieces of history we've seen, one was literally destroyed to build the other. And I feel like there's got to be a message in there somewhere about rebirth. Oh, enjoying your Snickers. Cheeky little Snickers. So we're at the random part of this um, beautiful park where it gets absurdly close to the industrial estate so yeah you can see it kind of there and obviously there oh, oh. and i almost walked into a lamppost oh. Oh, that could have been so funny but it didn't happen <laughs> what a shame time to climb the stairs time to climb down the stairs There's just nothing like getting away from all the hustle and bustle of the city out in the park, is there? Nothing like it. It's just so lovely. Whoa! Echo! What are those? Yeah. That's really cool. It's like an army. It's like boats and soldiers. No. Yeah. yeah. So it's called Lodge Lake, by the way. And we're going to walk around that way so we go past the Canton. I think they're really pretty when they fly. So yeah, we're going to walk around this lake and there's a Chinese restaurant, which always makes the whole thing feel very Chinesey. But then it's also weird because I feel like herons feel very Chinesey. Mm -hmm. Like um, they're a very kind of Oriental bird, yeah. So I have actually just hit kind of low on battery, which is shocking. So yeah, we're gonna um, gonna stop this now. Yeah. And we could have walked to that thing, but we didn't. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to enjoy the obstacle courses and have fun with them. Long 
we go. Okay. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Whoa, okay. You want to go? I felt like I'd already, yeah, I felt like I walked halfway across it before I realized how like wobbly it was. I don't like it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to do it. All right. Finally found another one. It does spin. Oh my <laughs> lord. Jeez. Like, I can't believe there's okay. no way. Yes, yeah, so I'm not filming it. Um, you can film that me was, real quick. Yeah. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I Almost. It's a good try. Spring blossoms. Grey heron, moorhen. Oh, or a bat. <gasps> rat, look, rat. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I've never seen a cuter rat in my life. <laughs> and there's the Chinese rats. I think they've they've fiddled with it. I'll tell you how they fiddled with it. There used to be, oh wait, no, maybe it's just that I'm missing, no. There used to be a big balcony that looks like way more kind of oriental. Because you can see the stairs, uh, the door there, up there. And that door used to lead out onto a balcony, which would overlook it. And that was like, really cool. I mean, yeah, now it looks, I don't know. I mean, are they shut down? Or is it just, I don't know. It's weird. Pretty though. Getting a bit hungry. Mm -hmm. Trying to, oh, these are the stepping stones. Okay, good. So we found the stepping stones, which is the last thing. And now we just need to head across to MK station. And then, I don't know. We might see what there is, otherwise we'll walk up to the uh, center and get chicken. Maybe we'll get a snack from somewhere, I don't know. We'll see. All right, cheers. I wanna stay in here for a tiny bit longer. Come on. Trying to get your feet wet. <laughs> uh, not really. Me neither. Sure is busy. Excited for your taco? That was quick. So, having just eaten a taco bell, I actually do think I've never eaten that before. That was my first time, and I'm I'm giving it I'm giving it a big thumbs up. You know, consider this a food review channel because, like, I think flavor was there, um, and also price because it was two quid for um, a burrito. And I honestly think, like, the because um, we were planning on getting. Um, the uh, chicken burger from McDonald's for one pound. But I actually think that that's worse value, the chicken burger for one pound. Because I think that probably did fill me up about twice as much as the chicken burger would have. So now I've got some energy powered by chilies to uh, get to the city center. And we're heading to the, um, to the train station right now. We're just about to walk past a place I used to work, which was a job I hated, so I won't show you that. But also, we're heading to Milton Keynes Centre, and we we have no clear objective, just to lounge around, check it out, and I suppose, yeah, if there's one objective, it's find somewhere to eat, probably a Piri Piri chicken place, because that just seems like an obvious thing. I could be tempted by the buffet at Pizza Hut, but peri peri chicken, hard to say no to. So the fun thing is going full circle a bit, I mean this was towards the end of the vlog and obviously we started off going to church and this is the uh, cross uh, on the top of that very church, so yeah. film from a distance.
Uh, so here there was an upside down house, but uh, yeah, there were lots of people not going inside it, which made me feel like there wasn't much point going inside it. You know, everyone else was content not to, so why should we? So instead, we just went straight on to the Lego store. <laughs> As you do. Doc Trooper Attack? Millennium Falcon? They have friends. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Haunted House. And of course, Harry Potter. It's a whole, a whole thing. It costs more than a trip to Disneyland. That's not true. <laughs> oh my lord. See, I remember they used to actually have, um, like, Lego football as like a thing and you could like, the way it worked is you could like sit them on these little things with like a ball and you could like flick them. Like it was like springy things. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I think maybe the toad on top turns around and starts spraying out bubbles. Yeah. So yeah, basically there wasn't uh, that much to do in town and I think, I think we both we're kind of ready to go home. Like, I think <laughs> our legs are a bit tired and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. So, ultimately, you know, like, we could have just ambled around, but it was kind of hard to do that when, you know, we were, our, our feet were hurting and things like that. So, we basically, seeing as we didn't have a clear objective of, you know, a particular place to go to, we decided to just make our objective uh, dinner or lunch. Excited for your chicken meal? Pretty good. And storm. Underneath them. It's chicken. I think they basically all sell like the exact same stuff, just like different shops. I actually really didn't like that. Oh, I want to go to that chicken place again. <laughs> yeah, that does look good. All of the, that food. Yeah. And the drink. You can have some of my chicken wings if you like. And this, it's really good. And it was only five quid. The entire thing? I think so. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Cheap. I know, yeah. yeah. We went to MK Gallery and it seems to be closed. Closed Mondays! It literally says closed Mondays. Oh. Guess what today is? Okay. Um, yeah. I might Google the um, film and sci-fi museum because I'm so curious about... It seemed like not the kind of place you'd expect to see a museum. So I'm kind of interested. And guess who went there? In fact, actually, the most recent vlog before this one should be me actually at the sci-fi museum. So, and yeah, I would say that... I, I bought him tickets. Yes, I'm kind of glad we didn't go there this time though, because I don't think we would have been able to, there would have been like a kind of time pressure, because we didn't want to uh, spend too long there, or we wouldn't have wanted to spend too long there. We wouldn't have been would have able to enjoy it as much as yes, we should have. exactly. And then we'll head back, and it will be all downhill, which is lovely. Perfect. Love that for us. And then we're going to walk down to the train station to get the bus. <laughs> they should call it a bus station. <laughs> So shiny. <laughs> Boxes. Opticians. Calvin Klein. Plants. Luke used to work at John Lewis. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> he still did. Doesn't change the fact that he did, by the way. Just because somebody uh, almost walked into me. Doesn't change anything. Uh... Hope to see you soon. There it is again. Yep. Sure is empty now that it's no longer Sunday. 
But I bet those people aren't going to the church. I bet they're just parking here. For the free parking. But they don't care about the free gift of salvation, do they? Mm. That's what I would have uh, in my car park. I'd have like a church and it would have a big car park and it would say, enjoying the free parking? Try the free gift of salvation. Details inside. That's what I would have. I would make a church and I would, yeah, spend money on making sure it had a big car park. Like, bigger than you would actually need. And then I'd like, yeah, just let people park there during the week. That would be a great system. Yeah. I'm full of them, full of those good ideas. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Magpie. Oh, this is when it like hops away. Oh, I think so, yeah. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> cute. Okay. <laughs> Look at that totally absurd number of um, benches. That's quite cool. Let's summarize before we leave. So, okay. we walked to the Roman villa. Well, yeah, the park which had the Roman villa in it. Then we walked down to, was it the concrete cows after that? Yeah. Then the abbey. I was around the abbey for a bit. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the lake, mm -hmm. Kem Tong. Then the station, well, the railway station, um, and obviously Taco Bell. Then into MK Center, uh, the chicken place, XLN Chicken. Yeah. Because it was excellent. Oh, although <laughs> to be honest, it was it was basically it was, it was your standard chicken. Yeah. But you know, it was cheap. Goodness me. And filling. Ten ten quid. We didn't get to see the the clock that does the bubbles. <laughs> um, when it hits, no. you know, hits the hour mark. Um, I think you're just gonna have to get lucky with that one because, yeah, didn't didn't think to check. Uh, and then, yeah, just walked around. Oh, went to the Lego store, that was fun. Um, and yeah, yeah, just walked around the centre. Didn't get to go to the gallery and didn't go to the um, film thing, but you know what, that's fine. Went to the gallery last time. Didn't film it though. Alright. So. Just gonna head down to the uh, railway station. It's all, uh, all downhill. In a good way. <laughs> and... Yeah. If I see any, any other sculptures, I'll probably film them, but apart from that, you know, we'll get home. Still got some chicken to eat, some chips to eat, so yeah, we'll head back. All right, let's go. Big red thing. All right, everybody, so that's the end of the vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy it, obviously give it a like. Um, you know, imagine we have some arbitrary target for likes and, you know, <laughs> like accordingly. Uh, of course, if you want to see more, subscribe. Please. Just, yes, please, please do it. Please, just I'm begging do it. you. Off we go. Oh, hello. I'm gonna film Michael doing some manly things. He's in the garden at the moment. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's low battery. All right, how are we going to stop this? Well, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Can we let go now? <laughs> I was going to say, mind you, first. I knew, mate. Well, I was kind of somewhat confident. Oh, I cut myself. Oh, good. Ew. <laughs>